you first wake up to reduce stiff achy muscle. I'm Noko and if you are new to my channel, subscribe by clicking the bottom right corner of the screen. Let's start on our elbows, and our forearms, and all we're going to do is release the low back and round. Release and tuck and release. So this creates mobility in the low back. Only go as far as you're comfortable. So in the morning, maybe a little bit tight. And now let's come to a neutral position. Belly lifted. And from here, I'm going to bring one leg up and down. So here we're strengthening the glute muscle. Other leg. Keep gazing between your hands to maintain a long neck. So we strengthen the glute muscle, it helps support our spine as well. Let's get onto our hands. If it's uncomfortable on your hands, you can get onto your fist. And from here, tucking the right toes under, pushing to the heels. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg, okay, in the calves and in the ankle. And belly lifted, let's reach the opposite arm up. So we're strengthening and stretching at the same time, strengthening the shoulder. And from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll the leg sideways, we're gonna move it, align with this foot. We're gonna rotate this lower leg Hand align with your knee and placing the top hand behind the hips, pushing the tailbone forward. So you're going to feel a release right in the hip here in the low back. You can keep your hand in the back, low back, you can reach it up. Or if you want to feel a deeper stretch, you can extend your arm above your ear. Belly is pulled in. Keep pushing your tailbone forward. And arm up, lifting the leg. Hold it there. So again, we're strengthening the hip area here. Belly is pulled in. And let's place the foot down. Coming back center. Inhaling cap. Exhaling cat. Again, inhaling cap. Exhaling cat. Back to center. Reaching the other leg out, left toe stacked under. And from here, we're going to place the foot flat on the floor. Pivot the lower leg. I'm going to show you from the back this time. So you want your foot, your knee, your hand aligned, same line. And from here, we push forward, feeling a nice stretch here. We can maintain the hand in the low back. We can reach up. We can go across above the ear to feel a nice stretch a bit deeper. And arm up, lifting the leg. Hold it here. Belly is pulled in. Hold it for four, three, two, one. And facing back center. Puppy stretch, so we get into a cow stretch, we release the tailbone, we drop the belly, and we reach the arms forward. Now if it's uncomfortable to reach the arms, you can have your forearms down. So it's a little bit less intense, and you're not getting the stretch in the shoulders and chest area, but that's a good way to start. And coming back up, inhaling, and exhaling, walking the hands to one side, gazing towards the ceiling with the chin. So this is a side stretch for the spine. You should feel the stretch in your rib area. Inhaling back center, and exhaling, walking the hands to the other side, gazing towards the ceiling with the chin. Again, feeling the stretch in the rib area. 
and back to center. Tucking the toes together, opening the knees wide, pressing the hips down for a child pose. If your hips are not going all the way down, that's fine. You can be here and just place your forearms down. You can even cross the arms, place your forehead down. If you want to get a deeper stretch in the hips, bring them down. And inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Two more. And again, child pose. Let's cross the arms to one side. Another side stretch for this one. Deep, slow breath. Inhaling center, exhaling other side. Back to center. And coming up into a seated position. Hands on the thighs. I invite you to close your eyes. Let's exhale all the air out of the lungs. And big breath into the nose. Take breath out to the nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe in. And out. In. And out. And let's bring the eyes open. Thank you for joining. Until next time. Namaste.